Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. This is the post-fight review for the Frank Sanchez Foray vs. Jack Mulaway fight in Pennsylvania, which was on the Gallimore and Lubin undercard. This was a card broadcast by Showtime. Now, this 10-round fight in which Sanchez Foray took all the rounds, swept it 100-90 to 90 on all three judges' scorecards. It promised much, but ultimately, Sanchez was the only one who really delivered anything on the offensive end. Jack Mulaway didn't really come to fight. He came to defend. He came to grind it out to the end and make his way to the final bell. It became apparent early on, and especially in the first round, a couple of rounds, that uh, Mulaway just really wasn't going to do too too much on the offensive end. Sanchez came out fast. He was looking to take out Mulaway. Didn't really look to set up his punches in the first round, just going for big punches, overhand rights, letting his hands go. Uh, he didn't have too much success, but uh, he was winning these early rounds, and it became clear after about two or three rounds, Sanchez Faru was going to have to do something to vary up his attack because he wasn't creating too much, wasn't setting up his work too well, and he did make an adjustment, started going to the body. And that became one of the highlight features of the fight. Overall, Frank Sanchez Foray landed just over 60 body punches. He threw a total of 455 punches for the fight, landed 63 in body punches. And I think his total was just over 120 punches landed for the entire fight. And if you contrast that to the deeply negative Jack Mulaway, who threw 185 punches for the entire fight. So that was one punch on average about every 10 seconds or so but some rounds you it was certainly a lot less he did start to open up a little bit later in the fight uh, but as soon as he did Sanchez started to catch him a little bit especially in round eight where Mulaway started to throw a bit more Sanchez rocked him probably with the biggest punch of the fight it backed him up this was in the final 15 seconds of that round he followed up with a nice left hook and it was probably uh, the bell that actually did Mulaway a favor there and Sanchez looked to finish strong but just couldn't take him out Mulaway went back into his shell. So it was ultimately a bit of a struggle to watch in patches because Frank Sanchez Foray was trying hard but unable to really get past this negative um, intent that Jack Mulaway had right throughout the fight. Effectively, most rounds, not too much to write home about from Mulaway on the offensive end. And it really did sort of spoil the opportunity to, in some sense, for Frank Sanchez Faure. Because remember, this was a televised opportunity. He's a prospect. He was coming into this fight 13-0. and He's had some sort of uh, buzz starting to come behind him in the last year or so. He was looking for a good performance to impress. And obviously, if he did that in front of a TV audience, it could lead to bigger and better fights in terms of uh, dates and cards and etc. And I'm sure he'll get the bigger fights, but on the strength of this performance, performance the opponent that he had in front of him it denied him some of the opportunity to look as good as he possibly could have because if he had had someone in front of him who was trading with him I'm sure there would have been more openings for him to exploit his body punching was very good in this fight and that was a good little in-fight adjustment from about round three round four or so his trainer was calling for more body work and he started to deliver and it did look to be having an impact on Jack Mulaway but ultimately it wasn't enough he couldn't ground him down, couldn't break him down, couldn't stop him, and ultimately because Mulaway was riding a lot of these shots, unable to hurt him a lot either, apart from round eight, as I mentioned. But Frank Sanchez Foray, where to from here? Well, I guess, you know, hopefully he will get another TV opportunity. He's been relatively recent in 2019. He actually had a fight just at the end of August against Victor Bisbal. He uh, won through a retirement there. Uh, he's also fought uh, Jason Bergman. That was back in July. Uh, also a fight against Willie Jake Jr. But relatively speaking, his... Um, resume is a little bit thin so Victor Bisbal probably the one of the better known names on his resume there obviously well-held journeyman uh, Jason Bergman too and now Jack Mulaway and I'm not saying that anyone was expecting Mulaway to go in there and beat Frank Sanchez Foray in this fight but I think a lot of us would have been hoping for a bit more especially this is an entertainment sport to some extent and he's not going to win fights by not throwing punches 185 punches for a heavyweight over the course of a 10-round fight 
that is not very many. And the, the commentators made um, quite a bit of um, Frank Sanchez Fauré that on average he throws about 40 punches around across his career and certainly he did stick to, to that in this fight, 455 across this fight. But the body work, it was good. He was punching well in combination at times, but finding the openings um, few and far between with Mulawai really just really negative. So I would like to see a step up um, before the end of 2019 if possible, if they can get him on another card, start ramping him up because uh, they they are talking about this guy can mix it with uh, the best in the division right now, but it remains to be seen how far he can go. Allegedly, he's 27 years old. He is called the Cuban Flash. Clearly, he's got some talent. The jab's okay. The body work was good. The combination punching is good. He's well-schooled, but how far can he go? He needs some of the stepping stone fights to really let us know where he's at because on the strength of the performance against Mulaway, yeah, he's a decent heavyweight, but is he going to crack that sort of next level? Can he at least show us that he's a top 30 sort of level ready to take the next step? We shall soon see. What did you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.